Did the lights dim? Oh, is my ring light dying? I love how I look so tropical, but my shirt is French. <laughs> Confused. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hi, my name is Carla. I post videos every Wednesday and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join the Nugget fam. No pressure though, if you don't want to, that's fine. Thank you anyway for watching. For those of you that have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that one of my more popular videos are haul videos and more often than not, they're hauls care of my older sister Trina. Well, aside from the fact that you can probably tell thanks to the title of this video. Trina just got back from a trip to Hawaii. So... Yes, I've got a Trina haul for y'all today. So if you want to see all of the goodies that Trina brought back for me, then please keep watching. All right, let's get started. Now, like I said, Trina just got back from Hawaii and one of the cutest things that she got for me, she actually left it on my desk and I was just like, that's so cute. Little flower clip. Now, I don't know what kind of flower this is. Is this a gumamilla? I don't know. I'm not a botanist. I just think that it's super cute. And since this is a Hawaii haul, I would rock it for the rest of this video. Major Jasmine Trias vibes. Hey, 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 hey. Limited edition Game of Thrones Oreos. These are so good. There's something about the Oreos from the States. Like the cookie is crispier and the cream is thicker and I just personally love the Oreos from the States a lot more than the ones that they sell here. The designs are the Lannisters, the Targaryens, and the Starks. And then there's a Night King Oreo, which I think is really cool. When Trina, Mom, and I first opened the other pack, we didn't look and I said, pick one Oreo and then we'll all look at it this same time and that'll be our house. Mom's and Trina's Oreos were actually the dragons so they were Targaryens and when I picked out my Oreo, I was a Lannister. So you know what that means? Thank goodness I don't have a twin brother. <laughs> oh. I love Game of Thrones. I'm really sad that it's over. Today, as I'm filming this, it's the last Monday. So it's the series finale. I don't want to watch it. I have it on my laptop. Really scared to watch it, but I will watch it. <laughs> Next up we've got of course Pasalubum for Kebab because he's probably the world's most spoiled French bulldog. Newman's own dog biscuits. Bacon flavor made with organic barley flour. No wheat, corn, or soy. He's gonna be a really really happy dog. He's currently knocked out downstairs. He's the only dog I know that can sleep on his back the entire time. It's so strange. Hi sweet if you're watching and thank you so much for always having Trina bring us home gifts. You are so generous and we love you very very much. Sonoma Creamery Parmesan Crisps Crunchy Real Cheese Snacks Y'all know Saturdays in my family are reserved for couch potatoing and Netflixing So I already know this bag will probably last just one Saturday Because knowing Trina mom and I, we're not gonna hold back Parmesan Crisps you know. Fruity Pebbles has been my favorite since I was a kid. I love Fruity Pebbles, Lucky Charms, and Captain Crunch. I could just eat them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I could live off of cereal. Now, this wouldn't be a Carla haul if I didn't include some alcohol. Francis Coppola Diamond Collection. I love red wine. Since I've been trying to become more fit and I've been exercising every morning, I know, shocker. Round of applause, please. I wake up at 6.30 every morning. Cool, there's like a lanyard and a ball pen and everything. U.S. Army. <laughs> Go Army. Jug. Thanks, Trin. Famous Amos bite-sized chocolate chip cookies. I love Famous Amos. Whenever we're in Malaysia, we always hoard cookies from the Famous Amos store over there. So now I've got a couple of bags that I can chuck into my work bag or my handbag. Who doesn't love cookies, right? This looks so good. And Trina actually tried it when she was in Hawaii. Hawaiian Hurricane Company. Hawaiian Hurricane Pop. Popcorn in mochi crunch and nori. I love mochi. I love nori. Sounds like it's a sweet and salty dream come true. And check out that packaging. Now the Sugar Fina store is sort of like this Lux candy store in the States. They did a collaboration with Alfred, which is the coffee shop where Trina brought us back some coffee before. I can definitely use this for my coffee or for my smoothies. White, black, and gold tumbler. It's got gold gummy bears all over it. And then it just says, but first coffee, words to live by. What makes this super cool, like I said, she got it from Sugarfina. 
It smells ridiculous. Coffee gummy bears. I know! Two flavors, cold brew gummy bears and iced vanilla latte bears. They're actually coffee infused, which means I cannot eat the whole bag unless I want to palpitate and possibly die. Apparently, the cold brew ones are really strong, so I can only have like a couple of pieces at a time. It's not really recommended to eat the entire bag, but I mean, rules are meant to be broken. Right. She actually brought Nico a bag of the Lion Island style toasted coconut coffee. Kind of want to keep this for us because it's toasted coconut, but because Trina is so thoughtful, and because she already threatened me, I have to give that to Nico. But she did bring back for us the Hawaiian Lion 24 Karat Gold Roast 100% Kona Coffee. I have hauled Kona Coffee in the past. We're currently drinking the Phil's Coffee Turkish Delight flavor from LA and it's so good. So if there's one thing I realized about Trina, it's she knows how to pick good coffee. And because one bag of coffee for the house isn't enough, Green World Coffee Farm premium coffee house blend. It smells amazing. One of my biggest frustrations is that I cannot drink coffee past 3 p.m. So I always get jealous when I'm like eating out and then I see somebody drinking coffee at night and it's like no problem for them. I'm always like, why can't I be like that? M&M hazelnut spread filled M&Ms. There are no words. It's like M&M. You're doing great, sweetie. I really want to open the bag right now, but nobody's home, so I'm gonna try my best to just be the bigger person and not open this, no matter how badly I want to. Trina has managed to combine both my love for sweets and my obsession with oral hygiene and gum health into one little gift. Cocoa Floss Pure Strawberries Dental Floss. It actually smells like those sour strawberry belts that you get from Candy Corner. I hope I don't end up eating this floss. A loofah for your smile. Soft, fibrous cocoa floss with coconut oil and strawberry fragrance to scrub your pearly whites ultra clean. Something you have to understand about my family is that we are obsessed with anchovies. On pizza, on toast, on anything. King Oscar anchovies in olive oil. Self-explanatory. We now no longer have to ration our anchovies at home because we've got 12 cans. That should last us until Trina's next trip. We like anchovies. Okay. Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Room Spray in Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Trina knows how much I love fragrances and how much I love room sprays and oh Oh my gosh. I'm calm already. If you're really into making your room a relaxing and peaceful place, I highly recommend you guys get a room spray. Turn on your aircon at night, spray a little bit of it, and then just relax. I can guarantee you, your room is gonna end up feeling like a spa. I like to pretend I don't live in a tropical country and that lighting a candle would turn my room into an oven. But because Trina is a loving older sister, she will support my stupid little obsessions. Bath and Body Works, rose water, and ivy three wick candle this is from their white barn range this just smells so clean and so crisp and so floral i love the smell of roses i know a lot of people think that roses kind of smell like a lola you know like an old lady its fragrance notes are soft rose petals rain kissed ivy and spring musk i love the bath and body works three wick candles they last a long time they burn beautifully and even if you don't like them if you just leave them in your room uncapped the smell will fill your room. They have so many scents. If you guys watched my most recent Malaysia vlogs, you'll know that at the airport, I actually swatched this foundation, but because it was so expensive and because the girl said that the following day they were gonna slash a couple of hundred ringgit off of the price, I didn't end up buying it. So like, I just totally forgot about it. I didn't think about it. And then Trina texted me and said that she got it for me. Of course, I freaked out. If you're a makeup lover and if you appreciate high-end makeup, then you'll know that this foundation is like the holy grail of so many makeup artists and celebrities. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I am so excited to try this foundation. I'm in the shade 4. I'm gonna let you guys know how I get along with this. I've never owned any high-end foundation aside from my Chanel one. I'm excited to see if it really does live up to its name. This is expensive. Like I said, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan and Sweet was so sweet. She told Trina to give this to me. How cool is this? It's legit Game of Thrones merch. I'm definitely going to be wearing this with high-waisted shorts or jeans and I'm going to wear it proud. Now these next two things were actually the only ones that I asked 
Trina to buy me. I had planned to pay for this with my own money. It was more of a pavilion, but Trina being Trina just decided to make it part of my pasalubong. I am not a fan of bras. I think that if you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know that. I asked Trina to get me a couple of the Calvin Klein unlined triangle bras. The black one and the gray one. There are no pads, there's no underwire, and they're just super soft and really comfortable. Calvin Klein underwear I know is very expensive. They're honestly worth the money. They wash really well. They don't shrink. They stay soft. I currently have the t-shirt bras, so those are the ones that go up pretty high, and then they're sort of like in this razor back at the back. English. I can wear them with t-shirts, I can wear them with sweaters, but when I want to wear a tank top, more often than not, the t-shirt bra will show, which is why I wanted to get the triangle ones. They've got thinner straps. They go down quite deep. I'm a size small because I'm 12. I never ever expect 30 or sweet to bring me back anything or to buy me anything for Pasalubo, but they're just really the sweetest and most generous people in the world. 30 got me. I never even realized I wanted this until he got it for me. Google Home Mini. What? So basically, this is the Alexa of Amazon, the Siri of Apple, that you can basically connect to your Spotify, to your YouTube, to your Netflix, to your Chromecast. The moment I got this, I plugged it in, I set it up, and it's already in my room. So it's no longer in the box. It's sitting on my nightstand. It's voice activated. Let me show you right now. Hey Google, what's the temperature like outside? The current temperature in San Juan, Metro Manila is 31. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 37. What? Okay, Google, is it going to rain today? Yes, it'll rain in San Juan, Metro Manila this evening. She can also play music. Hey, Google, please play If I Can't Have You by Shawn Mendes. Playing the album If I Can't Have You on Spotify. Okay, Google, stop the song, please. Welcome to the future, people. Thanks to 30, I really no longer need to develop my social skills. Who needs friends when I've got Google, right? Hey Google, what's good afternoon in German? Good Nachmittag. What's I love you in Spanish? Hey Amo. What's thanks for watching in French? Merci de voir regarder. I'm gonna be learning like six new languages all thanks to Google. We're down to the last item in this haul. This wouldn't be a Trina haul if she didn't. Oh, oh my gosh, an instant pot. What is an instant pot, you ask? Well, my friends, an instant pot is sort of like a slow cooker. You know those giant machines that they have on the Food Network where they just dump all the ingredients and then they press cook and then it cooks for like eight hours? She brought us back one. It also has a recipe book inside and we can make a bunch of stuff. Like there's beef stew in here. We can make yogurt or we can make couscous, roast vegetables. We can saute. And since we no longer have household help, mom and I are really trying our best to meal prep and make good food at home that we can have either for lunch or for dinner and we'll still have leftovers. And since this is sort of like an all-in-one pot, that will also make washing a whole lot easier for us. I'm just really, really excited to try this. And there you guys have it, yet another Trina haul. I honestly don't know how many Trina hauls I have on this channel anymore. Trin, stop it, but don't really save your money, but spoil me. Once again, thank you so much to my older sister Trina for being super generous and thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below of your favorite summer moment. I know summer is basically almost over. Did anything awesome or special happen to you guys? Let's chat in the comment section and I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye!